just find that sweet spot where your MRR is through the roof. Somebody was telling me the other day on uh, in our Facebook group that, hey, why should I change if I already am running like, you know, a good tool, I'm getting uh, 50 cubes, like MRR, most important thing, material removal rate. 50 cubes is actually good because most people get like 10 to 30, you know what I mean? So 50 is actually good. But I showed a video there where I actually was going uh, 180 cubes with no coolant, like just because I, it was only for filming. Like I always run coolant, but it was for filming just to show the chips and stuff. 180 cubes. So think about that. If if you can half drop inch it, what's that? I said that's what a half inch mill too. Yeah, and that's a half inch mill. So if you can drop it and get 120 cubes, and the, and people talk about price. I mean. Every distributor, like you just got to talk to them and uh, that's a different discussion and stuff, but you can get the price of these like really down competitive with the right distributors. And basically uh, you can't afford not to run them because it saves you time and send time is money, right? So Danny, you want to speak a little bit to the MRR? Well, I mean, that like we said earlier, you got to count the cubes at the end of the day. Uh, you know, I know when we were in your shop, we wanted to see how fast we could push it, you know, because that's just what we do. We like to play. Like you said, we like to see the chips hit the windows. And we got all the way up to 1,600 inches a minute, you know. And and we even looked at, uh, I know a lot of people say, what happened? She never even reached that speed. But we looked at it, and, and uh, with that generation of uh, uh, DMU machine, you know, I think we cl calculated up in the first two inches, it was at 1,600 inches a minute. So it was doing it, um, you know, but – even at 1,600 inches a minute, we had had a conversation between the three of us and said, you know, that, you know, even though it's going 1,600 inches a minute, we were maxing out the machine in the torque uh, and the horsepower. And we, we knew that we could actually remove more cubic inch of material by dialing down those RPMs a little bit because we were at 20,000 RPMs. We were trying to, you know, make it, uh, you know, see how fast we could do. And, and then we backed off the RPMs. Uh, adjusted our, our radial step over our uh, in our um, axial depth and and maxed out the machine got in that sweet spot of the per torque curve and you know just like you said you got to know your machine and then that way we we got a lot more cubic inches of material out it wasn't quite as um, you know exciting it was running a little bit slower in inches per minute but the cubic inches that we were moving was much better so that's one thing I would say whenever you're trying to make sure you maximize your, your MRR. Don't always go to the maximum RPMs if your machine doesn't have that, if your torque curves uh, really dropping off. Get back off a little bit, find that spot, look at your, at your torque curve, and, and that way you can maximize your cubes. That's awesome. That's Danny Davis, 38 years experience right there, talking. That's, that's awesome.